It's looking pretty good uh, for those interested in the Blazers. Friday night, dry evening, 55 degrees right around 7 o'clock over there at the Modus Center. 53 degrees by 9 o'clock. Go Blazers. Now, Elizabeth, I want you to pay attention mm -hmm. to this forecast. Taking notes. Yeah, 10 a.m. I'm in the clear. You're in the clear. <laughs> Good news, That's right? That's what I requested, and the, I think the Thorns did too. Uh, we are granting your request. Um, any of you who are going to be heading out there uh, to do Providence Park, your temperature is going to be right around 53 degrees, so perhaps some jacket weather for you in the morning. Mostly cloudy, and then some clearing taking place right around 11 o'clock noon. Uh, temperatures right there in the mid to upper 50s. For the Thorns, Saturday morning radar right now showing us some light variety rain popping up right outside of Vancouver. So far for Portland, we haven't seen a whole lot of rainy activity. A few drops here and there, but not enough to actually measure. Uh, going all the way up through uh, Ridgefield and Longview, that's where you're seeing those showers uh, popping up. Other than that, it's kind of hit or miss. Uh, thunderstorms have been popping up uh, in eastern Oregon near I-84. Now just outside of North Powder, Baker City, Sumter, we're seeing some uh, thunderstorms out that direction. Not a whole lot of lightning activity, which is a good thing at this point. Kalama, <clears throat> your temperature is 55. Hard to see through the camera lens because it is covered with rain and the rain continues right there. Hey, did you notice it felt a whole lot cooler? Did you know it's 20 degrees cooler right now in Vancouver compared to what we had yesterday? 18 degrees cooler for you, Portland. You get the drift here. Now, places where we're actually warmer, that would be out to eastern Oregon, where all that warm air transferred east. Baker City, about 8 degrees warmer right now. Current conditions here, Portland, 63 degrees. Wind is out of the southwest at 10 miles per hour. We're going to be in the mid-50s by the time we get to about 9 o'clock. Clouds increasing, another chance for showers again tomorrow, mostly happening for us in the morning. Now let's take a look here. A little bit of instability also possible, so you might get a few thunderstorms popping into the mix. Colder air filters in. That means we could see snowfall as low as about 4,500 feet as we roll on through tomorrow morning. Saturday is going to be a little bit of a mix where in the evening a chance for showers to come on through. By Sunday, chance for a quick shower, but really, again, limited in the valley. It's going to be mostly a coastal event for you. So how much rain could we see as we get through tomorrow afternoon? Uh, perhaps close to about a tenth of an inch in Portland. A big difference between what you see in the valley and what you see at the coast there. Tillamook getting close to about four tenths of an inch long view, about a quarter of an inch. So as we go get on through Sunday, now Sunday again, we might get a few quick sprinkles out of the mix, but it's just really, really limited. Not very impressive the amount of rain that we are going to be getting versus what we need. So far, we're already behind in our rainfall totals just month to date. A lot of catching up to do. So uh, tomorrow, again, morning showers, 61 degrees, drying out by the afternoon. Saturday 60. We get to Monday and Tuesday. Guess what? We're right back to it. Those temperatures approaching 80 degrees Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, Natasha.